Welcome back to another video. I'm still outside, it's still freezing cold. And that's something I wanted to talk about because I have been flying my uh, Radio Master Pocket quite a bit recently, especially outdoors in this colder weather, uh, doing some little like, gorilla whooping here and there. And I noticed my thumbsticks were starting to feel a little sticky. I wasn't sure whether that was the grease that was in there from Radio Master just not dealing well with the colder weather or if maybe they needed some more lubrication. What I really wanted to do is try out the Radio Master Lubricant Set. Uh, they have two products, one's called the damping oil, the other is called the lubricating oil. The lubricating oil is pretty obvious. It basically makes the gimbal smoother. It basically adds a little bit of lubrication and it is a thicker, more viscous oil so it doesn't drip around or flood around in the radio. The damping oil, if you don't like your stick doing this, if you would prefer to let it go and then it lock in that center, the damping oil basically reduces that kind of flop, I guess we could call it, from the thumbsticks. I didn't use any damping oil because I actually like that kind of kickback. I don't know why, it's, I guess maybe it's because I'm used to it with like video game controllers. I really wanted to see if I could get smoother sticks because this radio has become my primary whoop radio, especially when it comes to gorilla whooping. We're gonna pull off the pads here, hand grips. So fit your finger under there, slide out that little tab. Set those aside. We're gonna pull out the batteries. Battery out. These are the 18650s I'm using. They are, can't really see, but they're Samsung cells. Flip this back over, and so we've got four hex bolts, one, two, three, four. Once those four hex bolts are out, you pull open the bottom shell and you'll see there is one cable or the cables connecting it right here so you do have to be careful about them but <clears throat> to lubricate the radio master pocket we just undo these two screws here on this side these two screws here on this side so undo this one right here you really only have to undo one of them i tend to undo that top one you swing this aside and then you clean and lubricate this curved piece right there. And that's it. Just add a little lubricant to it and you should be good to go. Do make sure before you lubricate it, I would clean it with like an alcohol pad uh, or a Q-tip with alcohol on it. So that way it's nice, clean and free of any contaminants that might make it not as smooth as it could be. Put it all back together and then kind of worked it in a little bit. And now I can confidently say it does feel so much better. And I definitely want to suggest if you have a radio that doesn't feel quite as nice as it did day one, or you want it to not have as much snapback, or you want it to feel a little bit smoother, definitely go get yourself some lubricating oil. It doesn't have to be the Radio Master one, but you do get that little two set of pots for only five bucks. So I think it's definitely worth the cost, obviously. I'm leaving links down below to the oils themselves. Uh, I would definitely recommend it. So far, it's been fantastic, and it really has given this Radio Master Pocket some new life. And I really like the way it feels now with that little extra lubrication. I am thinking about possibly adding a little bit of damping oil to it, just to see how it changes up and how it changes the feel. But again, if you are a person who the radio doesn't feel quite as nice as it does, or it feels a little sticky, or it feels a little gritty, I guess would be a good way to put it, Definitely look into going in and cleaning off those uh, contact parts of your gimbal and apply some new lubricant. I honestly think it's gonna change your radio. It's gonna feel better. It's gonna make you more confident in the air. Yeah, <laughs> this is gonna be a relatively short video. That's pretty much it. If you've enjoyed it, please hit the like button. As always, hit the subscribe button. It helps me on YouTube. The links below for the ones that to Amazon, those are affiliate links. If you wanna help this channel, support me doing stuff, traveling, all the rest of that stuff, and offset a little bit of that cost for me, obviously I really appreciate it, and just click the link. As always, thank you so much for joining me. I'll catch you in the next video. It's not gonna be this cold, hopefully. Bye.